What's up, Tesla Nation? Welcome back to my channel. This is Michael again. Hey, um, today I want to talk to you a little about, about the my, the protected film um, that's on my car. Some some of my family and friends and some of the people requested for me to go a little more in depth about the film and why I chose it, and, little, and some of the pitfalls that I went through to make a decision to go with this, so that you guys don't have to go through it. Okay. So first of all, um, first question you need to ask is, should you do it? and why you should you do it, okay? For me, I did it because I didn't want any, I'm the type of guy who just doesn't want, when I invest in something as expensive as this, I don't want any chips or dings and where I have to like constantly go back and fix it and stuff. And so I want to enjoy it, right? So I don't have to worry too much about it, okay? So you got to make a decision if that's worth the investment because this protective film is, is pretty expensive, okay? So first you got to decide if that's what you want to um, invest in, okay? And then next thing is, well, what company you decide? I went on the web, I went on the internet, searching all the websites and all the people's feedback on this, and there was many, many company, okay, that was out there. I decided to settle on Expel, okay. Expel has a good reputation, been around for a while, and so I went with them. I'll leave uh, the link in the description so that you can take a um, look at the website and read all the information on them, okay? But go do your homework and go out there and talk to people. I talked to many of the installer and it seems like Spell comes up and up up all the time that it's the film to use, at least, at least in, the United, in the United States and around the states and a lot of people using it here, okay? Um, anyway, the clear coat protective paint, it's a, it's a film. To me, it feels like uh, like a, a vinyl, clear vinyl that they put through sticky pad on here, and it and it sticks pretty well. I mean, you can't even peel it off. I mean, I guess you have to get a, a hair dryer or one of the heat guns to peel it off. But anyway, it sticks pretty good, and and so I mean, I even had experience on the the clear coat on here is that we went to a Vegas trip and we had a big old rock a hit it and there was a gouge but then after putting in the sun for a while I mean like I said last time I washed my car I can't even find it so I mean it has a healing property now of course it can't protect against a big old ding or chips or anything like that so you got to keep that in mind this is meant for you know scratches and stuff but if there's a big old ding on your fender and stuff there it's not gonna be fixed but at least it'll help prevent a lot of the paint chip um, and you know a lot of chipping and stuff so anyway so that's why I decided to do it that's a good investment for me because um, for me I had to do it because I don't want to just keep on worrying with an expensive investment like this worry about chips and stuff and also somebody uh, some of you who are out on the East Coast with the, with the snow and the salt they put on on, on the ground I mean <sighs> If I live in the East Coast, man, I, I would do it hands down. I wouldn't even think about it. I mean, all the rocks and all the stuff you guys have out there and all the, you know, rock salt that to put on the ground for the snow and all that stuff, I, I would do it. And the gravel, I mean, it kicks up. I would do it, okay? So, like I said, do your homework. Find out which company out there is you that you like. I'm just telling you I did Expel. Um, second thing you need to decide, okay, is um, once you made that decision, okay, the second thing you need to do is make that decision that you want to do it, okay. Once you make that decision, my advice you even make that decision even before you receive your car, okay. Make that decision before you you or or put the order in or purchase the car or receive the car, because once you get from the dealership, once they peel that off, there's no more protection. You you need to schedule an appointment, and take it straight to the installer, and have it installed right away. That's what was one of the pitfalls that I didn't do. I didn't. Um, I didn't thought about this right away and it wasn't until you know I talked to a few people like oh yeah you ever thought about putting you know a, a protected covering on this right for protect the, the, the paint because one of my colleagues who hasn't actually has the same thing she got a big old chip right here and even though she put a touch of paint it still bothers her so so but the lucky thing I did was I didn't drive around a lot. I parked the car in my garage for a week and a half. Because if you drive around and you chip the car, they put this paint, um, the protective um, film over it, you, you're going to see that chip. So do yourself a favor. Make that decision. If you're going to do it right, do it. Do it right away. Just put it over there. Now, anticipate to leave your car at the installer for anywhere between three days to a week. I had to leave my car for a week. And here's the reason why, is the next question. 
okay so let's just before I move to the next step let's recap that make that decision either you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it okay but and then schedule your appointment ahead of time the, the next thing I want you to think about okay when you're doing this is is um, how long it's gonna be in the shop and it all depends on all depends on how you want this do you want the entire car to be wrapped or you just want just the front end most of the chip I gotta admit occurs in the front end but I don't like people dinging scratching my car or even people walking by with their jacket you know the zipper thing that can scratch your car too and I don't want that scratch on my car right so I decided to wrap the whole thing and that's a lot of work so that's why the car was in the shop for about a week okay so um, anticipate that okay anticipate you're gonna keep it for um, they're gonna keep it for a while okay now cost comes in you do the entire car wrap a lot higher in price quarter about half the price okay or a little bit less than half the price um, so you gotta think about what what works for you for me after you know selling everything and, and purchasing this car my dream car you know I don't have, to be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot of funds left, you know, um, to, to, to fix little chips and dings here. Because remember, they're not just going to fix a little ding. If you want this thing to look nice again, they're going to take the whole entire grill on this, the grill, um, the front fender off, and then, you know, tear it, you know, strip it down and repaint it. And that costs money and time and all that stuff. Here, if you get a chip, worst case scenario, remember, this has healing property. Worst case scenario, this gets a chip where they can't fix, they just peel it off and then they just, um, you know, Put another uh, another sticker back on, okay? So think about that stuff, okay? Um, the other thing I want you to think about, okay? Uh, there's a bus pull. Sorry, you hear a little beeper. There's a bus just pulled right behind the camera here. So continue. It, um, so I'm gonna give you a little close up on on the, the the sticker in a second, okay? But so those are a couple things that that that, that you need to think about because. For me, like I said, the, the toughest thing was to park my car in the garage for a whole week because because I made the decision at the last minute on this and I didn't want any chips or ding before I put the film on. So so that took a while, you know. I mean, that just kills me looking at this beautiful, beautiful car and I can't drive around, so. Okay, so think, think about that, okay? So that's one pitfall that hopefully that you don't have to go through that you decide to do this, okay? So if you decide to do it, if you're gonna go full head on with this, get it set up get it done you know get it make an appointment have it done take it from the showroom and drop it at the installer and then just wait you know wait for it to come back and I in touch you with I mean oh the other thing about the protective film is like God, I mean it's each time I wash it it's so much easier to wash the bug comes boom right off and if you wax it it's even better you know and you treat this just like any other paint job okay you treat it like any other paint job and that's what the installer told me he said treat it just like any other paint job you put wash it and wax it just like any other paint job okay and then the um, and the when i wash the boat comes right off the water beads right off and it's not a big deal you know so think about these things okay so um let me give you a little close-up i'm gonna bring the camera here i'm gonna give you a little close-up here See this. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Let's see there. Okay. So how this this is a headlight right here, okay? So how it is they, they have a sticker here. It's all pre-cut precisely to your car. So I mean it's pretty good, right? This thing rolls down, okay? This thing rolls down and tucks underneath the hood. So it's really, really good. And then the lights are cut out really, really well. You know, I mean just matches really well. And it chips and ding will hip will come off I mean it just I can't tell you know how good it looks once I wash it it looks pretty new each time and the thing is I don't have to worry about swirl marks or anything like that yeah swirl marks put it on the Sun that should take care of it too um, I'm gonna walk around now the one thing I didn't have them do and I don't think they do it is put anything on the the, the the camera here okay because I don't want anybody touching the sensor it's very important this camera because right now I don't have the full auto pylon but sooner or later down the road I will and I don't want anybody messing with the calibration on this stuff so I don't I didn't want want them even if they did do it I would have told them not to touch any of this stuff okay the thing tucked underneath here too I mean it's great and then um 
Oh, let me go to the sensor. The thing about this, I don't know if you can see the sensor. Let me see, put it down here. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Here's, these are the proximity sensor. Now your car apparently has a couple of uh, sensors. They have the proximity sensor here for parking and then they have the ultrasonic sensor for, um, you know, uh, for um, proximity to the other cars and stuff around you. So this is, this is, I was told that this was your proximity for parking and stuff, okay? So this is not touching it. Now, the, the ultrasonic is under, behind the, the bumper here, okay? Now, there was a little bit of concern that if it's going to affect the sensor. At first, I thought there was, but then after I, I drove, uh, after I drove a few other cars, um, other Model S, uh, when I took my car in for servicing, I didn't really see, really notice. I mean, the gauge seems, the gauge is fine. You know, picks up other cars fine. So I didn't really see a whole difference. Okay, so but that's something you should also consider too. Um, and you know uh, those are little aspects of it that you need to consider before you're doing this okay but anyway i think it was it's a great thing um let me zoom out here let's do this there we go um so i think it's a good investment okay i think it's a good investment um think about it you know to each his own everybody needs to make a decision what they want to do what's best for them so for me this was a really good investment it makes my car look nice each and every single time I wash it no swirl marks I mean I can't see I mean and I feel like I mean look at this I'm not even worried about scratching my fingernails and I don't even see anything right so um, so so you know think about it um, some people don't care for it but I hopefully I gave you some information uh, regarding this um, so that you can make a decision um, oh there goes the bus um, hopefully um, I gave you guys enough information regarding this so that you guys can make an informed decision on this and what's best for you um, and hopefully you can avoid some of that pitfalls that I I went through okay so uh, once again hopefully this video helps you um, all right take care of yourself all right once again and Elon we trust.